Hello my dear, this is Ujjal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial I am going to share with you a question uh, which is a uh, time and work and of course it's a train, it's a train problem, right? So basically if you are preparing for any competitive examination just like gate, basically this question has been asked in gate previous year paper. So how you can solve this type of problem? Let me share with you step by step. So first of all, you have to read the question, right? So in this question what we have given that a train that is 280 meters long traveling at a uniform speed that's great I mean one and second two things are notable till now crosses a platform in 60 seconds okay another thing is another thing is important and next passes a man standing on the platform in 20 seconds okay a man is standing what is the length of the platform in meters length we have to find out length of the platform is equal to what so in this question we have given clues three four clues basically and three numbers we have given by using those things those uh, clues or those uh, information I have to find out length of the platform I can understand if you can solve this question why you are watching this video. I know it is little bit difficult for those those are not familiar with aptitude or maybe this type of problem. Well this is not a pretty simple question first of all. Okay so how you can solve this question first of all let me share with you length of the train is 280 meters right and it crosses platform suppose that this is the platform and we have to find out its length and a train is here a train is crosses a platform of x length in 60 seconds right and the length of the train is 280 meters suppose that a, per a person standing in the platform and the train is crossing that person so here length of the person we are not considering in this problem the length of the person we will not consider so what we got here time is equal to 20 seconds so speed of the train is equal to 280 by 20 you can say this speed of the train is 14 meter per second right and because we know that speed is equal to distance by time all right now what we got clue that is speed is equal to 14 meter per second of the train because this is uniform speed the train is traveling now the relation we know that is speed is equal to distance by time by using this relation we can solve the problem so if got we got speed is equal to this so distance by time now we need to find out its distance x we have given time also so first of all we need to find out distance of it now we have a relation another relation that is the cross is train is crossing a platform in 60 seconds okay so platform length platform length plus train length is the distance so platform length is x train length is 280 and time is 60 is equal to 14 because they said in the question this is the train is traveling in uniform speed that's why we can write the speed of the train is equal to this equation if you did not understand till now what exactly going on here then I will share with you one thing that is repeat the video and understand because it's not a simple problem you need to understand you need to grab the concept you need to have approach first then you can solve this question and then probably because of that in this video I am sharing only one question in general I share more than three four questions in one video
but here my motto is to help you to get the basic approach to solve the question that is why i'm creating this video and comparatively i'm speaking little slow because slower uh, would be easier for you slower slower voice would be easier for you to understand if you are even completely beginner okay so now we have to solve this 14 multiple 60 x plus 280 right i will tell you few things after solving this problem so 14 multiple 60 you can use calculator because you will do have calculator so it's 4 8 sorry 840 x plus 280 so x is equal to 4 840 minus 280 is equal to it's 560 meters okay so 560 meters is the correct answer now if we'll go through the question what exactly steps i have gone through to do to solve this question you need to understand that once you will understand what exactly steps i am going through to solve the question then things become quite easier so in case of time and work you need to have approach to understand the question first and second the single formula you need to know that is speed equal to distance by time almost all people those are preparing those are going to appear in the examination just like gate everybody almost all of them are familiar with this formula but only even them only 40 percent not even 40 percent people can this solve this can solve this question because they don't know how to implement this formula in this type of questions so how you can be different than others of course you are watching this video that means right now you can create the difference you can make it different you can make it like i you are different than others right now but how you can implement this uh, same pretty concept for all questions because i know all co i cannot share all questions right because i i cannot share even which question will come in the upcoming examination so how you will come to know about it that is three things you need to consider first of all you know concentration concentration second second i must say that focus or approach and approach right and third don't be in hurry these three things can help you to solve the question right way any question if you know the basic formula then you can solve the question even you can solve 70 percent of the questions in gate you will get under 100 or then at least two three hundred ranks you will get that's great rank in gate that is why you know don't try to solve every each and every question in gate try to solve questions in which you can maintain accuracy without maintaining accuracy you cannot get anything in gate right so this is all about train and uh, train questions right so first of all what you need to understand that is one formula is here speed equal distance by time and second you need to have an approach like this at least as a beginner you have to approach have to draw like this uh, like a diagram you have to draw according to the question given in the uh, course data given in the question i must say okay so this is all about train problems now i have seen questions they have asked you know they have asked uh, that uh, suppose the train is running this much speed okay from this side and another train is running this much spe speed from this side when they will meet each other one type of problem probably this type of problem they, they may ask in the upcoming examination because in general they do not ask much question from this topic they usually ask from time speed and distance time speed and distance they usually ask question from uh, that topic so uh, I'll, I'll i have already shared with you time speed and distance question in my videos and definitely those videos will help you and of course i will create more videos related to this topic i mean this aptitude because this aptitude section also play important role to get good marks because it's a section of uh, 15 marks and out of 15 if you are little good you are having little approach to solve the question you can easily get seven marks no uh, i mean just 
just uh, you required to know basic information about topic that's it you can get easily get seven marks seven to eight marks and that's not bad if you are if you are going to write the gate examination right so i hope you understand the topic train problem and uh, thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye